Hey y'all, Juan from Omega Gaming here at Omega Gaming, and who do we have? Uh, Kai Nguyen. Kai Nguyen, one of our sponsored players, and uh, what, did you do, what did you do this past weekend? So I went to the Fort Worth Regionals, got top 8, ended up with a 7-1-1 record. Nice. Uh, yeah, with tier uh, elements. Nice, uh, anything special in the deck? Uh, tier elements with some twists. Alright, better. let's take a look at it. Alright, so I can't play tier elements without tier elements cards. Uh, for Monster, 3 Rhino Hearts. Three Sharon, three How, two Meru. So this one is like a Armageddon Knight for the deck. Uh, this one is an extender. This one is like a, a pseudo hand traps. You can summon wherever your opponents activate a monster effect on the field. And this one is the worst one. That's why I play that too. It's only there to you, to Mills, and to Fusions. Okay. Few spells, traps, and this all for the tier element engines that I play. The search, the fuse has also has the other broken effects. Uh, wherever a card is put back, it pops a card on the field. And this card is just too great not to play. It's a book of moon and a fusion at the same time. The only downfall is this card can be ash. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yes, because this sent a card from the deck to the grave. Oh, it's for effect. Okay. Uh, the second engine that I play is the punk engine. I play the minimal amount of punk engine. The Telly's. This card are great uh, going first. Uh, going second sometimes it's not that great because it's never gonna get resolved because people are gonna get like stop it somehow. So I usually started this out most of the time going second. Um, yeah. Third engine is dangerous. I play Mothman. Uh, this is the best danger uh, because uh, it's a level four. I can have you summon Redua and make Zeus to in order to break boards. And if they pick this card to this card off your hand, it's not that bad either because you can discard all the tier elements and trigger their effects. Okay. And a twist in the deck, I play Swap Frogs with Ronin Toten. The Frog Engine. Yes, the Frog Engine. Uh, in my deck, uh, you want to mill a lot of cards. That's why I usually mill like 17 cards in my first turn. And if you hit a frog, uh, because uh, Meru is a level two, because uh, you use Kitalas to bring it back, and then you're gonna go make the elf summon back Swaff Rocks, and there you got an elf and a toad with two negates. That's like the only thing that the tier element deck is missing, like negates. So this literally just create like two negates for free if you mill it. Okay. Other cards I play are Snow, and all the monster play are Snow and Black. Uh, black usually just there to make Baron to play around Nip, but I usually go for the black plays only game two and game three. For game one, I usually mill a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, for spells, uh, Galaxy Cyclone to out Mystic Mine, Terraforming to search the few spell, Instant to summon Kitalis. Uh, going second cards, I play three Dart Ruler no more to stop the Splite deck. It makes the Splite deck matchup really easy. It's also really good in the mirror. Tactics and combo. Uh This card is insane in this format because it's guaranteed resolve most of the time. Going second, it's actually resolved more going second and going first, actually. So it's out the spike board because uh, after they use their toad effect, if you activate this card, uh, they can't like either elf or toad because you can just take the toad when it come back or just take the elf and it's so free. Okay. Uh, for defensive cards, I just play one ogre for the E-Tally and three Imperm. Uh, the reason for the Imperm is Splite players never play around this card. Uh, they always go for the red. So this, most of the time, is going to resolve on their gigantic Splite. And it's also not a bad six card to draw because you can like just negate something on their board. Yeah, that's what I choose to play Imperm. How are the other hand traps in your testing? Ash, Blossom, Valor, Nade? Um, they're good, but they're not lights or darts, you know, so you can't plus off Chaos Rulers. Okay. Nib is great, but by itself is not great. And my deck is already like at 43, so I can like add more hand traps. Okay. I can only play like four to five hand traps, and I think these are the best one to like by themselves, by itself. Okay, that's fair. Uh, for the extra deck, uh, tier element cards. Uh, this is all the only tier element cards that I play. This one is insane. This one came up sometimes. To shuffle cards together with the fuse spell. This is also insane. Uh, two Draco Sapelia. That's for the fusion. For the links, I play Hauk, Elf, 
Starge. For XYZ, I played uh, Gigantic, Toad, Redoer, Zombie Vampire, Zeus, Baron, and Chaos Ruler. Was there anything you missed in the extra deck? As uh, in uh, the window package or anything? Uh, no, because everyone maining Dark Ruler, so I don't think Winda is a really good card right now. Uh, the only thing I'm missing is probably the second half, because in like grind games, it does come up to bring back Toad or like a link to to do like extend your plays. Yeah, okay. that's the only thing I'm like missing in the extra deck. Okay. Uh, for the side deck, uh, because I play all the good extra deck monsters, so I decided to play Cherries. Uh, it won me a match. That Cherries, his elf, and won the match. Did you play going forward? Uh, yes, I would play going forward if I continue to play this deck. Okay. Because uh, in theory, if I in in the mirror, I can just Cherries Talos when they try to fusion. I don't think there's anything they can go into. Okay. And usually, like, this deck function around this card, so I think without this card, this deck kind of ass. <laughs> uh, hand traps, I play 2 nib, 2 draw, just for like punk, adventures, whatever from last format. I play lightning storms, uh, back row hate. And going first, I really like Solemn Judgment. It's it's guaranteed to stop Dark Ruler or Ultimate Slayers, anything like that. Okay. Were, were there any cards that uh, performed really well or really bad this weekend? Uh, actually, everything in my deck performed overperformed okay. this weekend. I would say. Yeah, it's good to hear. I mean, yeah. I mean, you went seven and one. You made the top six. Uh, what were your matchups like? Anything notable? Uh, I played like a lot of mirror matches. Actually, I played like three mirror matches. I played two pure play. I play a couple yeah. of Flanderies. Uh, I uh, uh, my only loss is to the guy that won the regional, but um, I actually could have won that match if I didn't ac accidentally side it out two of my swap rocks. Oh, that's not, that sounds yeah. tough, man. Yeah, sounds tough. Yeah. It's alright though. But I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good event. Um, do you have any shout outs you want to give before we end? Uh, first, a shout out to my sponsor, Omega Gaming, best store in Houston. Check them out. Uh, shout out to Galaxy Gaming as well and Team Galaxy. Okay. Yeah, I ride with them there. Um, and everyone that I see at the forward region. You know. Awesome, man. Well, congrats again. Pretty innovative deck. We haven't seen anybody play those Frogs engine in the Terra Elements deck. Uh, good start off to the season. We hope to see you again. Thank you. Uh, did you have any other uh, mentions you want to give out for the weekend? Uh, shout out to Nathaniel. Uh, he lent me most of the Tier Element decks. Okay. And shout out to Hervey with the Dr. Pepper for the whole day. <laughs> oh man, clutch with the Dr. Pepper. And shout out to Felix. Felix oh. over here as well. Shout out to Loris for disappearing the last hour. <laughs> yeah, right. that's it. Awesome. Well, congrats again, man. Hope to see you again.